After a short war fought for expansion, the sea will cut us off. Now, to strike the real beast, we have to gather strength. With the galactic community, new trade opportunities have emerged. Let's make the galactic market ours. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for episode 14 of this Stellaris series. So, we are currently in a good spot. Well, good ish, I think. Uh, so, yeah, last time the Katznatikus Imperium appeared. They are down here, so we're actually lucky that they spawned this far off. Because, yeah, from like the thousand stars, like 500s are within this circle. So, there was basically a 50 50 chance of them spawning inside or outside. So, and this far, it's really lucky for us. Um, so, yes, our economy is doing extremely well since we've taken uh, the planet of Taiken. Also, I'm going to re rename this because I always give them the name of the system and then I keep like the name it originally had between, uh, as you can see, because in this way I can like see it's the Xiamon system. So I like, okay, the planet is Xiamon and uh, I just know it is. And so, yeah, because the population here has this neat slave gene trait, which makes it so that they can only be workers, basically, or like enforcers. And uh, therefore, they can only produce like, yeah, the basic resources. So we build a bunch of stuff and now our economy is doing, as you can see, energy wise, pretty OK. So that's nice. Uh, this one is a good one. Um, but I think didn't I have like some addicts. I had a. Uh, uh, where was this? Yes, we are a bit overboard for the addicts. So I think we're going to use this one. 20-ish uh, months. We also wanted to contact the resistance, I just remember. But uh, yeah, this will have to wait a bit. Because then we will like get 20 unity more. So that's nice. Okay, so this is our air. Mm, upkeep or trade value or trust growth. Uh, to be honest, trust growth is nice. But it's like very slow pace. I'd rather take this one, which is economy based. And since he's already on the council, it's going to be like effective immediately. Um, yes, you are a ruler. OK. Um, <laughs> Elimination from the space race. No, we were in it. Um, yeah, I'm going to use Voidcraft too. Uh, simply because, yeah, uh, Voidcraft is a good tech and we will want to push this one further as possible. Uh, so, yeah, in the Heron Space Race, um, in the proximity of the star, forcing pilots to rely on their shields to avoid dangerous solar winds and heat. Unfortunately, our craft was not able to take the, hint, the heat and was therefore forced to keep the, the distance from the stars, losing precious time and on its longer trajectory. It didn't make it to the finishing line and has been eliminated. No... Well, to be fair, this always happens to me. Like, I always get eliminated at the first step, even if I use, like, focus on the shield. So, well, at least, uh, yeah. Um, okay, a new faction. You guys will have to repair. Where's the second allied fleet? It was up, up here, wasn't it? Yes. Okay, so this is 1k. This is almost 1k. And you have our Corvette spam. Um, yes. Yeah, so the idea was, space race is concluded. Well, at least we get a few, a bit of research uh, out of it, so it's not that bad. So yeah, I'm wondering if they are going to finally push uh, here into the war, or why they don't do it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hope to see some change over here because, well, technically it should. I'm just gonna put my fleet over here. So maybe like the fleet was disturbing them because they think I might attack them. So who knows uh, if I move them and then there's movement that this might be related otherwise. Uh, yeah. Okay. So now we have two specials. Why? Oh, are those, how did you even become? Okay. Because you were in forces. Okay. But, oh yeah. Okay. Because we demolished the, the building. Okay. Yeah. But, well, the thing is, you cannot be anything else, so you will just have to wait for you to demote. Okay. Um, also, what's happening on our capital? 
We're building a new city district instead of, I think it was, uh, wood production. And, uh, yeah, I could technically migrate them here. The problem is that, uh, since it's, uh, an Arctic world and they are, like, tropical, uh, this might be a problem. So, yeah. And we're also gonna repair the commercial zone, I think, uh, simply because it gives us, uh, three jobs, which is nice. Um, yes, what did we have here? Um, the nice thing about this is it's produced consumer goods, uh, but we could also build the public market, which gives trade value, collection range, and four jobs, which is great. Oh, a science has died. Damn. Um, well, for him, we will have to donate the, the body to science, and we get research output for five months. Okay, well, at least something. And now we're needing a new senior scientist, but I think we... Yeah, well, congrats. You were the only candidate, but... Uh, yeah, well, at least the 10% uh, XP gain is really nice, so... Uh, which one was... Uh, this one. Okay, so he's an industrialist. Well, hmm, you know... Or oh, current leader is competitive. Also, yeah, there's still this double leader thing, so I don't know if... Uh, I think it's a bug since the update, to be honest. But, uh, well, it's not a big deal or a big issue. Also, we're gonna need to take, get those texts to remove the modifiers, because every planet has some, and it's getting quite annoying. Uh, yeah, and we were still in the race for the galactic market. But we still need more influence to do so, or to nominate again, so... Well, you know. Uh, yeah, we also really need to get like the upgrades of the buildings just to produce more. Mm, well, you know what? I can actually just tell them all to go upgrade. Yes, they embrace cybernetics. Nice. Uh, and them... Yeah, let's get them up to 30. Yes, even 31. 31 corvettes is so a good number too. Mm, the thing is... If we declare war on them, I really don't want them to get anywhere near my planets because they're just gonna like literally, literally obliterate the planet. So, um, that's not ideal. That's not ideal. Oh well. Um, at this point, we will be able to declare war, to, war onto them again. Oh, there's my influence. Okay, um,. Oh, the INIF system. I was about to nominate again, but then, yeah, okay. Well, wait, the INIF system. Why does this... I feel like I, I read it already. Oh, really? There? Well, congrats on having the galactic market. Why, you are a vassal. How did you even... Ah, uh, well, sometimes it just feels a bit weird. But, uh... Yeah, well, at least we're friendly with them, although we don't get any bonuses or modifiers, so that's this sucks. Uh, but yeah. Okay, um, we're gonna build another gun battery here. Oh, the resistance increases, that's nice. And then... Well, to be honest, just give them all the gun batteries in the world, because uh, it might be the best to just deal damage against the... Uh, because, yeah, this one has... Ah, but... Uh, it's, why why can't I customize this? Why can't I say, like, I want not Corleons, I want lasers and everything? Like, uh So ridiculous. Uh, and I think the Torpedo Bay is... Uh, although, well, I still have two to build here, so... Let's just go Torpedo Bay... And one hangar. Just to see what they are, how they do. This might be... This might be good. Uh, also, fleet. Yes, okay, so we're getting closer to them. So they are still not in alignment with the ethics of the, the Federation, but I might... Now, if I change the government, this won't affect the ethics. So let's see if we can maybe... Um, for 100? We, just for 100? Damn. Uh, well, since they're in the Federation, I can just put this there. And then there's 50. 
Ah, okay, interesting. Mm. Maybe... They would lose one, but the thing is, I also have the building which gives me 0, 0,5. So if I just do it like this. Well, for 56. Gives you one more building and they give me like 5%. I feel like the 5% are not worth it, to be honest. Mm. I could maybe just turn them into a Mercatorium. Uh... Do like this, none, all, and contribution. Well, they are not producing anything, so. It is something, any trick you can do, actually, especially in the beginning. You can just say, I give you like 45% strategic resources, but since you're producing none, it doesn't matter. Wow, this really really does an impact on the loyalty for very little in return um but yeah i think i'm just gonna turn them into a oh wait this might this might work 60 give me 70 percent 75 percent that's a lot mm, how much does 20 only 25 are you kidding me yeah this costs yeah okay Mm, 75, 50, yeah, I think I'm gonna take this and add like, uh, and their commission, if I give them 25%, wait, this costs 50 currently, but if I go this, this also costs 50, but yeah, then we lose a lot of monthly loyalty, um, Actually, if I do this, we just keep the same we have. So, uh, yeah, let's convert them actually because I don't think they are doing much, anyways. And if you get like a few, um, how do you say it? A, for, a few corporate corporate buildings, it will be nice also for their economy and ours. So, let's convert them and give them literally nothing. Yes, there we go. Um, they went to war. Oh. With the neighbor next door, I guess. Okay. Well, it's good to know for us. Okay, so... Ah, oh, yeah, there we are. Uh, what third building should we place there? Ministry of Truth for the... Mm, this one is nice, but... <laughs> Look at how much energy credits we're currently making. So, yeah, I don't think we... The 11 unity would be nice. But let's actually take the, the influence, I think. Uh, simply because, yeah, the more influence, the better. And worst case scenario, we're going to make claims. So, you know. Mm. Yeah, I cannot invite anyone. Like, ex except my, my guys, so to speak. Uh, also having 10k, 12k here. So, yeah, only 12k. With the station, this would be 16. So, yeah, it's not that much, to be honest. Only two torpedoes. For... Okay, but at least they went for the plasma throwers now for some reason. So, I don't know exactly why. Uh... Yes, r recognize this. Damn, my idea is slipping down. That's uh, that's not cool. Usually it works. But, uh, well, sometimes I guess. Uh, yeah, we are for this. Although, yeah, bureaucrats upkeep 5%, it's acceptable. Mm. And this one. Well, well, well. Negotiate agreement. Let's see what we can do with you. Uh, well, first of all, let's... Um, yeah, let's restrict them on this one. Uh, build a second holding. Well, this costs a lot already. 
If I force them to give me 10%, 221. Well, it's quite a lot, but to be honest, taxing 25% now, let's take 10%. It's not much, but it's still something, you know? Oh, this really does a does a dent. Uh, how much is 10% of their research? Okay, so we are doing more research, producing more than they do, but... Uh, yeah. And what is the... Well, I mean, we don't really need those resources, so let's do it like this. Limit their diplomacy, that's uh, fine with me. And I could also convert them, but I really don't want to convert them to anything. Mm, 194. Yeah, way too much. Okay, let's go for the second building and uh, limit their diplomacy. So at least they're gonna vote like us and uh, be less a bitch in, in general. Okay, also... Boy. <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, huge ass fleet. I like the fact that there's like some nation over here and they're like... Hello, we're xenophobe, so don't don't come near us. Okay. Yes, so we get 10% of their monthly alloy production and everything, so this is nice. And we can now build another building here. Mm. Well, well, I feel like the Ministry of Truth... I, I mean, like, the satellite compass is nice and everything, but... I feel like the, the influence, because we would get basically just almost one influence thanks to our vassals, so... Yeah, I really want want to get this. Um, also, you are now... Aren't you? Oh yeah, okay. Or are they still... Specializing? <laughs> There's no technology they can. Because I felt like that they used to become a megacorp, but maybe this was changed in an update, so... A bit... Sad if this is the case, but uh, I guess uh, well, we'd still get the perk. Hmm. Okay, um, this guy, he's on the council. What are you doing? Are you governing Nandi? So... Uh, oh yeah. So I think... Right now, the energy mogul might be the good one. Yeah, we need to get the tech which gets rid of the wild beasts on the planets of the blocker. Because otherwise... Uh, yeah, we're really gonna need more. Uh, how much are we producing here? Those 14... 14th times 7.5... Uh, ah, yes. Okay, so they converted and... Now they are exactly, there we go. That's what I meant. Okay, so... Well, they went with the interesting civics, to say the least. But... Um, well, as long as it works. And they're gonna be able to build branch offices on our planets, which will give us jobs and resources, and this is nice. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, 70... Plus 4... 28... <laughs> Oh my god, I love that we just converted them and first event we get is uh, we're in deficit. Uh, how much do we need to bail them out? Wait, what? 5,000? Are you crazy? No, we can't help you guys. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, wait, I'm just gonna note this down to make a shot out of it. Uh, so, um, Vassal became Merc instant deficit and we're roughly 30 minutes i guess wait let me check the timer yes there are 26 minutes to go so it's yes 20 minutes in okay well 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 damn yeah i, I found that i need to uh, note more often like those shorts because often i think like oh this would be a great shot but then I don't, like, you know, I don't remember it because, like, the episode is 45 minutes long. This is definitely too long. Um, 
I cannot, although should I maybe risk it? I think I should take the 78 months, which is a long time. But the thing is, this one takes 41 and this one 29. And we're producing crystals anyway, so we don't need for now. So I don't like the idea, but I feel like we should do it. Uh, just because it's uh, an important tech for us to have, especially on our enemies. Okay. Uh, monthly loyalty change, 6.3. This is nice. And 3.0. And yes. Uh, I really like this Mercatorum mod, to be honest. It's really well put and... Uh, yeah, it just feels like it's in the game, basically, so that's really nice. Oh, boy. So, uh, sparse reports coming from the Katznaticus Imperium indicate that the Katzen have begun the large-scale deployment of their elusive Unterraumboot vessels, which literally translates to um, below space vessel. <laughs> because U-boot is... Uh, well, it's based on U-boot, so basically, yeah. Um, also, did I just get... Yes, very well. Ah, oh, the tile blocker. Yes, but we cannot do it right now because the Katzen are being dangerously active again, so we will have to do this one first. So, from what our informants have been able to gather, those poorly understood vessels are seemingly able to dive into subspace in order to bypass defense and hostile fleets before re-emerging into real space in order to harass unarmed targets. Stop dying, everyone! Um... Yeah, let's take the, the nice bonus. Well, for the unity. Oh, whom did we lose? Minister of State, that's not great. Yeah, you were supposed to be the replacement. Yes, there we go. Okay, so... Um, unarmed targets with their long-range torpedoes. Those are really nice, though. Uh, although the Katzen were already utilizing small experimental flotillas of them, it appears to the space submarines have completed their experimental phase and are now ready for mass deployment within the Katzen Space Force. These vessels, if utilized properly, undoubtedly have the potential to shift the tide of most wars in favors of the Katzen, and unfortunately, the details regarding their inner workings are few and far between, which uh, precludes a remote analysis. However, our researchers are confident that if we were to destroy some of these crafts, we might be able to salvage enough scraps to conduct a detailed study of their internal mechanism. This would enable us to develop countermeasures to, those, to these vessels and, ens and ensure they are unable to simply bypass our defenses by tunneling through subspace, worrying. Yes, indeed. Also, since it's a reaction to the event, uh, if I wouldn't have pressed it, it might have just never happened for them, so yeah. FYI. Okay, so, oh, damn, they lost some territory, didn't they? Because, um, since they are... Oh, no, okay, they aren't the... Uh, 1,000! Oh, boy! Help! God, help us! How did you have... How? How, how do you have 1,000 ships? How do you even have the, the... the naval capacity to do this? Because they have... Hold... One... What? This is brutal. Um, where was the guy? Here are she. Okay. Uh, yes, you come here. You have immediately to build a spy network here. This is uh, this is crazy. They are currently steamrolling everything in the center, and they lost yeah a few uh, a few systems. Okay, let's check our spy networks. Uh, here we are, let's ac acquire an asset. We have enough credits, monthly credits, uh, to simply, yeah, um, do stuff, to put it mildly. Um, I don't have one, I think since, yeah, he might already work. Uh, yes, acquire asset, I'm gonna use you. I feel like, like, you know, this is only effective, but I feel like sometimes when I'm using one type of um, agent, like for example, this one has manip uh, agitator, like manipulation, and the other one has sabotage, I feel like if I'm using the sabotage one, it's more likely that I'll get other sabotage agents. I don't know if it's this, this is just me, like an impression, or if it's really the case, but uh, yeah. Mm. Now, why would they be accepting this? Oh, I'll do 240, to be honest. Um, 
But yeah, look at who's improving relationship relations with us. I'm still saying it. Okay, and also I think I can drop these guys now because since they are in a federation, there is no really no real point for us to uh, be friendly with them. Like, I mean, mm hmm, could we realistically attack those? Because if we, we would have him with us, so he has like only a 4k fleet right now, and eh, that's not great. But uh, yeah, I feel like the problem is since we're split, it's uh, it's a bad idea to start with. Let's check our monthly trades. Yes, there we go. Uh... Yeah, and we cannot really attack them since they have like 500 fleet. And we have... Well, we have 200, but... Uh, the Enigmatic Cache is over there. Although I would really love to get, get like all those three planets and everything. Uh, oh, who are those guys? Are they important? <laughs> okay, 500. That's, uh, yeah. Oh, and those guys already have the hyper relays. Damn. Uh, wouldn't you want, like, uh... Oh, we have a research agreement. Okay. Uh, yeah, they, they say they are equivalent, but they really don't feel equivalent. So, damn, the Scholarium pumping those research points out. Uh, we better keep, keep them friendly. Actually, could you build a spy network here to steal tax later on? Yeah, actually, you go here. And, uh, yeah, might be useful. Mm. The question is, can you... I don't think that they can travel to each other, to be honest. Could I... I don't have a claim or anything. If I were to claim, let's say... What would it cost me? 100, 175, 300... 375 and 150 so well roughly 500 this is not ideal especially with how much unity i have right now um it would be better if i could like vassalize them uh how do i get this war goal uh we don't have any server yes yeah relative higher power but uh oh we were jumping on being equivalent with them, so this is always nice. What's with you? Okay, so they have two strengths, that's nice. Um, well, did we even meet the, the, the Katzen the Katzen Emperor? Yeah, this is the, scr the Shroud Touched Covenant. And this is another one. But yeah, I don't feel like... Okay, so they are starting to conquer this whole region. Uh, subjugation request. Survivor of Source subjugated. Oh, the Imara Nation subjugated them. I think this is one of the nations I created. Yes, there you go. This is what I meant. If it's if I it's one of the nations I created, then when I stay here, the description will be shown. Boom, there we go. Okay, too bad that they have been subjugated, but... Uh, well... Mm, let's establish embassy, just like, you know... Oh, yes, give me those extra... Extra everything. Mm, I feel like the unity one will be the one to go. Although, I'm gonna go with the Flesh is Weak, so we get integrated, so we get the tech. Uh, integrated cybernetics. Also, just 48 months, this is uh, not that much. Well, literally just 4 years, so... Yes. Um, is our fleet still... Yeah, well, I guess they... Some would still be... Okay, this is really going quick. Okay, that's nice. Uh, but yeah, they are still at war. Weird that nothing does happen right now. Because, like... Just go into... I mean, like, literally, they have... They have 34 ships. You have, what? Supposedly 500? Should work. I'm just saying. 
Uh, also, yes, in a few months we get this one, which is nice. Um, the base intel will be useful afterwards. Okay, also making a lot of consumer goods right now. Damn. Um, this one I'm going to drop back one. And let's see, maybe we can... Well, the thing is... I can repair this. Uh, I think... Because I would love to get like more research labs and uh, administrative office. But the problem is when I convert this one, I'm going to have like two jobless guys. Um, so yeah, it would kind of be better if I could just convert like the energy districts for now. Because I'm making just almost 500 energy credits. So let's do this and get two commercial... Uh, two, um, two building slots out of it. Yeah. Also on a star base. Mm, I really want to go public market. The problem is I think it's not affected by the collection. By the, um, the one which improves uh, trade value. But since we're getting jobs. I think it should be compensated. Um... Yeah, let's do this, because it still produces like half of the consumer good this one produced, so we should be good. Contact established with the Rokalian Freedom Fighters. After quite a few shady deals, secret meetings... Okay, this is basically the same text, I think. But, um... Uh, and served as a regional governor for the Katzen ruled part of Rokalia. Dofus has been secretly maintaining a network of partisans and freedom fighters dedicated to undermining Katzen rule and fusion, and hopefully one day restore the Rokalian Republic. Okay, um, so computer science and artificial intelligence, um, interesting, is are there specialties? Um, yeah, also Dofus, the name if you know it, I like it, uh, but I don't play it that much anymore, but I like to, yeah. Um, anyways, yes, we can now secretly contact them, and oh, yes, mm, the map, now we're talking. Ah... <sighs> I don't know if this is supposed to happen. I don't feel like it is, but uh, yes, what can we give you? Uh, yeah, let's give you 7,500 and go raid a warehouse. Okay. How much are we actually? 039 and here 027. Okay, so half a unity. Well, not so bad after all. Uh, okay, this is being built here. What's the deal over here? Uh, nice, we got a new asset. So this one, I'm going to change it for a city district. We might have one or two unemployed, but now we will not. Okay, uh, what's happening over here? Oh, I can still build a few things. Raid failed. Ah, crap. Well, it's gonna go down after a while. Mm. Yeah, let's go with the, the alloy one. Okay. Mm. Yeah, well, same problem again. What's with this one? And... Yeah, well, the good thing is at least we will be able to migrate them to our capital. The problem, on the other hand, is, yeah, um, we won't be able to get... Uh, okay, I can now change also this one. Uh, so we won't be able to do this in indefinitely, so... Eh. Yes, food processing. Uh, what are you? Weak. And you're a vassal of... Okay, wait, so this nation has a vassal, which is this one. Okay, so next door. And those guys declared war on them. Okay, you are not... Uh, let's offer association status, even though it doesn't do anything, to be honest. But uh, let's just help out someone. 
I feel like if a failed vote gives like a negative cohesion impact, a positive one should give like a positive one. Just, uh, just my thoughts. So, though, so you know, um, lacking fifteen. Okay, so I bought 25, but since then another ship upgraded, uh, we uh, we lost him. Okay, so let's just make the public markets because this will give us... Okay, so uh, politicians and entrepreneur jobs on the planet. Uh, so I think we got another politician out of this, so we have two two. And yeah, we have the three entrepreneurs. So um, yeah, there we go. Um... Yeah, and I'm just gonna have to make a short break here. I'll be right back. And here we are back again with uh, nothing that happened. <laughs> um, but yeah, the entrepreneur, I think they're nice because they give consumer goods uh, output. The problem is, yeah, if I keep them, like the 4% consumer goods, well, technically I could compensate for like every, every artisan I convert, so... I think it would still be possible to have like a certain consumer goods output with less consumer goods. I just need like a ton of uh, ton of entrepreneurs. But uh, yeah, okay, our fleets are all upgrades, so 2.5, 10, yeah, roughly 14k. Okay, still... Uh, when will I know where the fleet is? Hmm... Oh, we're losing some. Oh, damn. Why are we losing some? No, I think... Progress? Yeah, we're gaining. Why does it say we're losing some? Um, a Kano Union, who are they? Well, I heard the name already, but... Uh, damn, am I bad at finding people? Let's just vote yes. Also, those guys, 1,300, holy shit. Let's check the galactic uh, community. Uh, let's see everyone here, like the biggest nation, who are they? The Torquil Nations. They have a fleet of 900. Then the second is 1.2k. 900, 1k. We are actually in the top 6, which is not so bad, but we need to... We're only at 1.7k and there's like a huge gap, like we're with many other people between 1.7 and, well, 1.5 basically. And, uh, yeah, we're basically in a race with all those guys. And, uh, yeah, those guys are just way ahead and we need to at least, like, gain almost 1k just to be in the top 3 if the Galactic Council ever gets built. A good thing is we have a bit of time to spare Research until it gets ready. created. Yes, shields, that's nice. And let's go with the sensors, that's uh, that's what we need. Uh, who are you? First fleet and minister. Okay. Um, ship starting experience, plus 75. That's actually neat. Let's take this one. Um, and I guess, yeah, all the ships now have to upgrade because we got a new tech. Oh, well, this... This one is already upgrading, so, well, this is where all our alloys are going, if you ask me, but there we are. Um, yeah, at least now we have eight, eight new available jobs, so this is always good to have. Mm, and, yeah, once over here, yeah, we get the food processing facilities, we're gonna get uh, plus one food per farmer, so we're gonna get... Yeah, basically 10 more, so this is gonna be nice. Also, why is the unity still this low? Uh, is it only... Oh no, okay, so Concord Walled doesn't help, plus the pop approval rating, and they still have like the... Yeah, recently conquered minus 33%, so... And even though with minus 33%, they are still on 50%, so... If you ask me, that's pretty alright. <laughs> Also, a lot for the rulers are very happy and the workers are very unhappy, but... Uh, yes, let's go with the naval cap cons uh, contribution and uh, in allied... Uh, well, when we are in allied federation space, we, we are faster. That is really nice. Mm. Oh, damn, so... Okay, we lost the commander. 
Wait, was it this? Wasn't okay. Fifty years. Wasn't this the commander who we just upgraded? And well, okay. Um. Yeah, let's do this. And yeah, for ten years, five percent output. But yeah, it was our minister of defense, so this sucks. Um, maybe we can find someone who's only. Like only counselor traits, but I don't see some see someone. Uh, ship's weapon damage. This is a good one. Oh, naval capacity. Well, and then there's sublight speed. Uh. Well, I mean, if he's rank one or two, it's not gonna be that big of a difference, I think. Uh, especially like if it's someone relatively young, although. All those are already 40-ish, and this one is level 2 and already 40-ish, so... Um, yeah, let's take this one. He's 50, but he has at least a sublight speed bonus. So, you know. Okay. Those guys are being upgraded. This is nice. Mm, those sexy, sexy, sexy cruisers. And they're already experienced, so yeah. 10% weapon damage, that's nice. Oh, he's close to being upranked even. That's nice. Okay. Um, and yes, on our capital we have one more free slot. Let's put the research labs immediately on top here. Uh, simply because it's a priority, so we get more research done. And uh, yeah, I mean, like, we're getting 10 research more, so this is not negligible. Uh, we gained intel on double agents. Well, that's nice. Well, they keep failing opera uh, operations here, or is it just me? Um, yeah, what do you have? 500 for the fleet? And I am still at 200, that's, that's not good enough. Yeah, let's make two more corvettes. Only one, one costs 140, damn. The price is really skyrocketed. Uh... Yeah, the third fleet, the second fleet. Um, what are our fleets over here doing? Yeah, okay, so they keep building them. That's nice. Um, the question is, with, with which fleet are they trying to, to merge? Yeah, okay, so this one is going over here. Yes, all of you fusion over here and... There's only one. Okay. Yeah, there's only one ship. And, ah, there we go. Okay, so this one is up to 1.4k. But yeah, the, those guys are really disturbing. Or like, not disturbing, but problematic with their placement. Especially since they, they cut our access to the Heron Union. Uh, nice, another asset. And so this guy has, yeah, well, basically 24k. Mm -hmm. You may reward them. I don't think so, because they have a 10k, which we would beat, actually. The problem is, they are friendly, so it wouldn't be really worth it to, uh, to attack them, since they are friendly, and uh, they are still a vessel of those, so they would intervene, probably. Uh... Let's get another asset from here. Yeah, we're getting... We have 200 influence, that's nice. And this guy over here. Hmm. Well, we are friendly too. The problem is... Um, if you get a few claims on him, I wouldn't mind actually attacking him because we can't really push in any other direction right now. Um, yeah, but... Same problem as before, like, our fleet isn't there yet, and we would need the allied fleet, so yeah. We're back always to the same problem than before. Uh, also, we're very lucky that their capital, their both capitals are literally next to each other, because thanks to that we can see, like, all the fleets and everything they're doing, so we can know that they have, like, almost 30k in fleet power, and I'm gonna guess that they have, yeah, 448, they have... 500, so they also have something similar. So, boy oh boy. 
I'm gonna stop building them for now. Uh, simply because, yeah, so they, the other ships can upgrade. Fleet enhancement supplied. Well, there we go. And... Well, we can upgrade one ship. Fleet enhancement supplied. And I think they have to wait for the cruisers to upgrade, right? Let's just... Yeah, uh, for the five ships, so... 600, so, yeah. Well, well, well. And then we have the... Oh, this is the timer for the episode. So yeah, um, we're gonna... Um, actually... Federation level unlocked. Oh, that's incredible. Yes, let's put immediately uh, the level 2. And let's actually finish the episode on this. Because it seems like a very fitting moment uh, to end the episode. Plus 9 XP, that's nice. Probably could be more. But, uh, where did their fleet go? Didn't they have like 12k? Where, where does this go? But yeah, maybe they hired them, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And I wish you a nice evening, everyone. And uh, yeah, let's still do this one. <laughs> there we go. And uh, yeah, I wish you a nice evening. And I hope to see you for the next episode. Bye.